Okay, so let's get started with this project. And the first thing I'm going to do is open a new artboard. And the artboard for this project will be 920 by 1080. But of course, use the artboard that you're comfortable with. And maybe if your screen is bigger, obviously you can use bigger artboard. Or if your screen is smaller, you can use small artboard. So it's comfortable to you to see. But I will be starting from desktop and going down to mobile. So let's select 920 by 1080. And the first thing that I'm going to do is name this artboard. If you double click on the top left corner of your artboard, you can change the name. I'm just going to call this home. And then the second thing that I need to do is obviously save this file locally or on the cloud so we don't lose it. And you can click on the top left corner, then save as local document. And I'm going to call this project Guard WooCommerce. So let's save this. And Guard is the name of this project as we will be designing a website for luxury face masks. So I came up with this random name. It's obviously not a real project, uh, but I couldn't think of a better name. So let's go with it. You might have already noticed that I've already have Photoshop open in here and also Illustrator. And this is because we might end up editing. We might end up having to edit a few images with Photoshop. And also I wanted to show you uh, how I created the logo. And um, let's go to Illustrator quickly. And to be honest, it's not much of a logo. I simply chose the Tozil uh, medium font from Adobe fonts and I just typed the name of the project and I felt that this is looking fairly decent. Obviously for a real project, I would probably spend a lot more time designing a proper logo with nice uh, icon maybe and choose the correct colors and so on. So this will be a logo and obviously I used Illustrator because Illustrator is a vector based, which means we can blow it up or scale it down as much as we want without getting pixelated. Let's copy a logo and paste the logo into a project. Let's move the logo to the top left of our screen and I'm moving the, the artboard with space and left click on the mouse, just drag in. And then if you want to zoom in, on Windows is Control and Plus. And if you want to zoom in on Mac, it's Command and Plus, which is exactly the same, Command and Plus and Control and Plus. So let me zoom in a little bit more, select the logo, and as you can see, you can see, and you can see this little circle at the bottom of our graphic of our logo. So this means that if we hover over it, we can resize it quickly. So I'm just going to make it a little bit smaller and we can, um, mess with it a little bit later. First of all, I am going to use the same font that I, used, that I created the logo with for our body text. So that um, I know what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use the text tool here on the left side of our toolbox, or you can click T on your keyboard. And I'm just going to drag a little box here on the left side. And this will be a body text. And what I want to do is I actually want to fill this text box with some dummy text so we can see how the text looks like. And to do this, there is an easier method rather than going to a website like Lorem Ipsum. We can go to the plugins of Adobe XD here on the bottom left side of the screen or Shift, Control and P or Shift, Command and P if you're on Mac. So let's do that. And if you go back actually uh, to plugins, you will see that I've got a plugin installed, which is called Lorem Ipsum. And you can add this plugin by hitting the plus sign in here and just search for it and then click install. So I'm going to use this Lorem Ipsum very quickly. Click on it and then uh, quick Lorem Ipsum. This will fill our box and I probably don't need so much text, but let me hide the plugins uh, toolbar. And I'm going to double click on this and remove, and remove a lot of the text so it's not so much. And then I'm going to highlight this text and just change the font to be to S-T-O-L-Z-L. And this will be a body font. And the second thing that I want to do is make sure that this is set to black. And potentially, I'm not too sure yet, but potentially we'll probably have to change the line spacing to somewhere around 29, which makes it a little bit better to read, I assume. But we can always mess around with those styles. And I'm just going to make this a little bit smaller. So we can actually add this to a library now, so we can reuse it later on. And to do this, 
we can click here on assets or shift control and y or shift command and y if you're mac and then we can add this as a component just by hitting the plus icon so select your text and hit plus icon and we can call this something like body text now that we have the body text let's think about the headings as well and i've already chosen a font for this as well and the font i chose is the play fair font let's copy this box quickly with ctrl and c and command and v and actually let's create a new text box on top of uh, this and this will be let's say heading one and of course we need to change the font so let's select it and select the play fair display and this is a free google font and i would assume that this will be around uh, the size of this heading one will be around 70 pixels 70 not 7 70 and then we can then we can maybe copy this and make a second heading and so on so we have some sort of styles that we can reuse on our layout and speed up the process so let's say heading two and you can do heading three four and five of course and so on and i'm just going to stop at heading two at the moment and maybe later on we can add some more and of course we can add those to our component but first of all let's change the heading two to be around let's say 46 46 and just maybe like this i don't know i think this looks okay and let's add our first heading to the components by selecting it and hitting the plus sign and we can call this heading one then let's choose heading two and and type heading two and i would probably arrange them like this so we have to heading one two and body text and also one thing that i would need to check is whether this text is set to black and if we scroll down to fill I already have a set as black which is perfect so one of the main colors of this layout is going to be pretty much uh, black and white and we can actually use the circle ellipse tool here to uh, to make some sort of a palette for us so I'm gonna create a little circle but that's you don't have to do this now because we're not gonna be using many colors so let's fill this with black and we can copy this paste it and make the second box maybe white and of course we can we can add some more uh, later on as we develop the uh, website we'll probably need some shadings of black and so on and of course it will be fairly useful to add this to our colors as well just in case we decide to change the colors of our website this will allow us to make it super easy for us so let's choose this one uh, let's add the white one okay so now that we have some sort of style guides then we can start developing the website layout okay let's start by creating the navigation bar and for this i'm gonna press t on my keyboard and start typing so the first element that i'm going to add is going to be product and as you can see we probably need to change the font to something else so let's change it to st o l z l and let's make sure that this font is set to 16 pixels 16 make sure it's set to black and so on and of course i could have used my body text from here actually but i might leave this as a separate component just in case i want to do some extra stuff with this font and so on so this is actually 20 and i want to set this to 16 okay so this is looking a little bit better and so on so let's continue now i've added product and i'm going to leave this text box to be the point text but of course you can use the area text but this will make it a little bit harder to align uh, i guess in a second so let's add products and 
Uh, you can either do those separately uh, by copying and pasting the elements or you can just use your spacebar on your keyboard and I'm just going to, uh, to add a couple of spaces here. So let's add around, I don't know, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15. I think 15 is a good number. And then after this, obviously, we're going to have to add a few more elements. Let's say we're going to have a sale. And then I can copy this spacing so they're equal and add another element in here. And that will be about. Paste another set of spacings. And then I can add support. So now that we have our uh, navigation bar, this is looking cool and simple. The next thing that I need to do is add a little shopping card in here and maybe a search bar. To do this, let's head back to plugins. And the plugin that I will be using today is called Icons for Design. It's a free, it's a free plugin. You can literally add it from here. Just click on the plus sign, discover plugins and search for it. And this will basic, this basically has all sorts of styles of icons that you can search inside Adobe XD and just add them. Uh, they have like material design, metro design, Ionic, um, font awesome and so on. And let's just go ahead and look for it. Search icon. And the one I'm going to use is this feather icon here. So let's click on it. This will add the icon randomly in here. So I'm gonna have to uh, just move this somewhere around here and the second icon that I want is the basket or Let's have a look Or maybe card And the one that I'm going to use is the same sort of style uh, icon which is the shopping cart in here and This uh, as you saw these are uh, um, this was added to my screen. I can remove the plugins now and these are vector based icons, which is awesome. And you can actually modify them from here. You can change the color, the size of them and so on. So let's move them on the right side of the screen. And I would say that, and I want to make them a lot smaller than they are actually. The border can be changed as well. So they look a little bit more premium. So I'm gonna change the size to two and I'm gonna change the search border size to two as well. And what I want to do now is kind of want to make sure that they're a little bit smaller so they kind of uh, fit well with the navigation bar. I don't want those two icons to overpower the logo or the navigation bar. So I'm gonna just make them ever so slightly smaller. Maybe, maybe like this. I think this looks nice. And obviously I need to space them out and make sure that, yeah, let's space them out now. So first of all, let's align the card from the right side of the screen. And what I'm gonna do is select it and just use shift and my arrow on my keyboard to align it. So I'm gonna go with one, two, three, four. I think this is like uh, 70. Okay, let's have a look. And I'm going to create a box in here just to see what's the size like. And that's uh, 40. Um, That's 41 pixels and of course you can just drag it down to 40 and move the icon like this if you want it to be a full number. And then we can actually use the Adobe XD guides and you can just drag them from here from the left side or the top side if you're gonna drag one down. So I'm gonna drag one from the left side of the screen to the icon and this should snap into 40. It doesn't but that's fine. What I'm going to do is zoom in a lot and just make sure that it's around 40. As you, uh, I think this is, I think this is 40, I believe. Yes, you can see it's 40 and I'm not actually using the grid for this uh, tutorial. I want it to move the stuff freely, but yeah, you normally probably have a grid and so on. So let me align this icon now. Maybe I'm going to Align it first of all with the uh, basket, just like this. Is this aligned? Maybe like, uh, maybe like this. And then just move it like one, two, three, 
four, four times. This looks like decent spacing and and to be and to be completely honest we can maybe make them even smaller and so on but they look fine for now. Uh, so what I'm going to do is select both of them, make sure that they're vertically aligned by pressing the alignment button here. The next thing that I want to do is I'm going to grip them so they're one element and this is you can select the two, um, the two elements and press Ctrl and G or Command and G if you're on Mac. Then I think the problem here now is the logo is far too big and it's overpowering the other two elements so what i'm going to do is make sure that the logo is a lot smaller and i'm going to click on it and make it like i don't know around 30 pixels this looks fine to me and i'm just going to make sure that the logo is uh, spaced out equally with the top uh, the same as those two icons and the menu and also I want to make sure it's spaced equally from the left to the right and this is 40 pixels. So let's drag another line in here just like this. So now that we have those three elements, obviously they were grouped. These, uh, uh, this is one line of text and this is in the logo is one line of text as well. So we can select all of them together and make sure that they are aligned by using the alignment tool here, vertically aligned just like this. And also I want to make sure that the actual menu is aligned in the middle. And to do this, we can use this icon here, distribute horizontally. Let's click on that. And as you can see, now everything is aligned well. Uh, one mistake that I see is that people align their text with the actual outline of the text. As you can see here on the logo, there is a little outline of the text with the grid just like this. And I usually like to align my elements, my topography uh, with the actual grid. And in this case, I would drag it ever so slightly like this. So it aligns with the line as much as possible. And this is what I'll be doing for the rest of the topography as well. Now that we have the menu, of course, we can select all the elements and Ctrl and G to group them. Uh, another thing that I can do is to space the navigation or the header equally maybe like 40 pixels from the top as well but of course we can experiment with this and have a look so it would be 40 will be around here and i would normally uh, drag my heading like this maybe and delete the box and see how it looks so this this looks this actually looks quite good uh, i'll leave it like this for now but of course we can change it later now that we are done with the header of this website the next thing that we need to focus on is the hero section so to do this i'm going to use the rectangle tool or r on your keyboard and drag a big box from the top left corner of your screen and down just like this and i'm going to maybe have the height around 920 and the weight will be obviously full width of the screen and as the default Adobe likes to add border for some reason, which is cool sometimes. It's kind of like allows you to see the box. But in this case, I'm going to remove the border and I'm going to change the fill into a very light gray color like this. And this is just because uh, I have a white background on my artboard and I want to see where this box is. So let's use the V tool to deselect. And now we need to move this box at the bottom of the screen and to do this there are two ways you can right click and arrange send to back or send backwards or you can obviously use the shortcuts which is shift control and left bracket or you can simply use uh, control and left bracket to send it to arrange this box to the back and I'm going to use control and left bracket obviously for Mac will be command and as you can see we can now see all menu and this was kind of hard for me to come up with any images because unsplash.com didn't have any suitable images. I went to AliExpress and I found a bunch of images. Some of them are quite bad, but uh, we're going to have to use our imagination, Photoshop skills to create something out of nothing pretty much. So I found this image here, uh, which 
is actually quite nice it's not high res but it will do the job so i took a screenshot of this image and i went on unsplash.com and i will link obviously the image in the description below of the author and i found this nice image and i was thinking um, that i could superimpose the a woman with the mask on this image and make it look a little bit more realistic and let me show you how we can do that and I'm not going to spend too much time on it of course make sure that it's looking nice for your shop because you don't want to make silly mistakes and make your shop unprofessional and obviously if you can get a professional photography done yourself that's even better so let me show you how I did this now that we created this box in here, I'm going to use this size 1920 by 920 is the size of this box. And I'm going to use the same size for a Photoshop document. So let's open Photoshop, new file and put 19, put 19, 1920 by 920 of height. Click OK. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this background image in Photoshop. I'm just going to drag it. And obviously we're going to have to zoom out a little bit and scale this. On this tool, we don't have to hold shift. Uh, it's already holding kind of uh, scaling the image proportionally for us. But what I want to do is if we go up, I want to see maybe like a little bit of the floor and a little bit of the lamps and so on just like this I would say uh, maybe scale it down so we can see a little more detail like this just to make it a little bit more interesting and of course we can move this up and down in a second when we add the image and let's now add the image of this uh, woman with the mask let's drag it in and as you can see this already has potential. Let's drag it around here. I think this will look nice. And obviously we need to remove the uh, box of this image. And to do this, you can go to the properties in Photoshop and convert this image to um, layers. So let's hit that. And this will pop up and just click yes. And this will convert it to a normal layer. And now we can use the quick masking tool in Photoshop or you can manually mask it, whatever is easy for you. But if you zoom in, I'm going to just be lazy and do the select subject in Photoshop and hope for the best. And as you can see, Photoshop is doing a really good job in this is selecting all subject. Obviously, we can uh, do a little bit better in here, but it's not a big deal for now. And then all I have to do is click on the mask in here. And that should mask the image for us. And it, of course, as I told you, it's not ideal, it's not perfect, but for a one second job, that's absolutely amazing. And I think this would be perfect. But obviously if I wanted to do a little bit more, I would click on select mask and refine the mask in Photoshop by using this tool and so on. But let's, I don't want to waste too much time on this now. And the next thing that I want to ensure is that, as you can see, all navigation is here is, and I don't want the head of the girl to kind of uh, get in the way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the girl slightly down with shift and the arrow key down, maybe like, I don't know maybe like this and of course we can always modify it and so on maybe a little bit more and we can make the one smaller or bigger and so on so let's save this image i'm pretty happy with it of course save the photoshop file so you can edit it later and i'm going to call this hero image.psd and i don't think that you can actually um, drag psds so i'm going to have to save this as an image as a JPEG as well. So let's save it quickly. Hero image, save. Uh, we obviously want the quality to be as the maximum quality, save as, and we're done. Now that we have this image with the perfect size, we can literally, we can literally drag this image into XD and drop it. And we get this beautiful looking image so far so good 
The idea behind this hero image in my design is that obviously this is not going to be just women's uh, product. So we're going to have to maybe do kind of like a carousel where the hero image swaps into from a woman to a man to another one, different adverts, you know what I mean. So to do this, um, I can very simply with design make sure that we kind of like add three dots in here. You've probably seen them already uh, in other designs. So what I'm going to do is make sure that this is uh, the body is set to black and this will be set around here. Then I'm going to copy this and space them out like, I don't know, like 10 pixels apart. And then let's create another one. And for the selected image, you'd normally do something like you change the fill into something like dark, nearly black. So this will indicate that currently the carousel is on this is on this point and then it will move to another one and so on. Um, of course, we can probably make them bigger, make them make, space them out and so on. Maybe like make him, I don't know, maybe, maybe make him uh, 10 pixels and just space them out a little bit, just like this. I'm not too first and so on. And I think this is actually, they're too small. So let's make them even bigger, like, I don't know. 14 will be fine this time, I'm sure. And let's make sure that they have 20 pixels separation. Um, okay, this is looking slightly better. It's one of them things that I can mess around with for ages, but let's make sure that they're grouped now. Select all of them, Control and G or Command and G on Mac. And now let's select the actual, select those three uh, bullet points and select shift and the image below and make sure that these are aligned in the middle just like this and also we can make sure that there is 40 pixels from the bottom to the top if you wish to maintain this kind of sizing everywhere where you don't have to so i'd normally do height of 40 just like this move them just like this and we're done so we know that they're nicely spaced out all the elements this is in the middle and so on the next thing i want to do is add some kind of like marketing text in here and the first thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to um i'm going to copy let's copy the navigation here and paste and what i want to add is something like the new collection and of course you can think of some nice marketing materials for your branding and so on let's make it look premium so the new collection maybe we can bump this up to 20 pixels maybe we can space the text out a little bit to make it look more premium i don't know and the next thing i want to add is some sort of a hero text in here and for this i'm going to use the heading one that we created earlier so let's copy and paste this in here and this as i said earlier this is playfair display a regular roman maybe we can uh, maybe we can change the in a second to make it look nice but what i'm going to add here is i'm gonna add something like elegant and luxury Elegant and luxury, and this is looking nice. And make sure it's like we'll we'll make sure that these are aligned nicely in the middle later. And also, let's uh, this is looking nice. Let's quickly select both of them and align. Sorry, align in the middle here. But we can also try different styles of text. Maybe like I don't know, uh, bold italic. How does that look? Ooh, this is the problem. I can spend so much time on this, just looking at uh, different fonts and styles. So let's check italic like this. I don't know, I'm kind of uh, 
So what I would normally do is I'll normally copy and paste two headings like this side, uh, side next to each other and then I will change one just like this and then I'll just like see which one is more uh, elegant maybe more powerful and so on and to be completely honest for now I might go with the bold version so let's change it like this exchange yeah I think this looks a little bit more luxury let me know in the comments below which one would you prefer and uh, yeah let's let's go with this I think this looks a little bit better so let's make sure that these are they used to align like this. And normally in modern design, this would be actually a one big button that people would press usually on their iPad or on their phone. But we can also add a button as well just to kind of make it look like uh, it's clickable on, desk on desktop as well, I guess. Um, so to do this, let's create a button and to do this, I'm going to use the rectangle tool uh, on your keyboard, drag a box and this box will be, I don't know, let's say roughly around 180 pixels and 45 in height. And to make this button look a little bit more modern, I'm going to add some style to it and I'm, I'm going to make sure that the border is set to 2 and I'm going to make the border black. So I think this looks like kind of like luxury minimalistic style I'm going to align it around here and maybe we can copy again the navigation bar uh, buttons let's copy this paste it um, paste it and I'm going to use this for my button as well so maybe we can say browse collection like this and let's see if it fits that doesn't fit very well so we're gonna have to either make or button we either gonna have to make a button smaller or the text so let's make the button a little bit bigger i would say maybe like 210 align align and i think this is looking nice maybe maybe a little bit longer i would say just like this to give it a little bit more breathing space we at the design stage so we can mess around with it and come back later and once you're happy with this button we can actually we can actually group this button with command and g and actually add it as another component that we can reuse it later on and so on so this will be our main button and we can add it uh, in here if you wish copy paste it so this is the original button if we change it this one will change too let me show you uh, so let me show you so if I was to change this button to I don't know let's say let's say I want the border to be red you will see that this one is changing as well so this is the master button and that's awesome let's change it back to black and leave it there so I want to make sure that those three elements are like equally aligned just like this um, oh sorry um, horizontally aligned just like this and maybe the button needs to be spaced out a little bit more to the bottom like this maybe even more like this I don't know it's one of them things that I'm not too sure about I would usually look at it and okay I think this looks okay for now so let's save this and continue and the next bit and we need to do is extend this artboard let's extend the artboard and to do this you can double click on the artboard zoom out a little bit and just make it ever so slightly bigger we're gonna need some more space anyway so let's make it around here and go up so this will be kind of like the folding point of the website so this will be excuse me this will be full screen so if i put this on desktop preview you see this will be kind of full screen and then we'll probably start adding some more elements in here so the user can see that there is more to scroll i guess okay let's start working on the second section here and on the second section we're going to focus on two sections one on the left side and one on the right side and basically we're going to have 
um, shop for women and shop for men and let's get with let's get going with this first of all what i want to make sure is that the spacing between the hero image and the second section is roughly around 80 to 90 pixels depending on your design you can choose whatever you like obviously maybe you want more spacing and so on so this will be my spacing and of course i can drag one of them guidelines from the top just like this and remove the square and i can actually use this square with the 90 height and just rotate it so it's 90 width and i'm going to use this so there is 90 width on the left side like this and 90 width on the right side like this okay and I haven't, obviously we're not using grid on this, which you can do, um, it might make things a little bit easier for you, but what I'm going to do now, I'm going to have to figure out how much space I want between them, between those two boxes, and maybe, you know what, in fact we can do, we can use the same box from here, so that's 90, so I'm going to use this as my middle spacing as well, so I want this to be my middle spacing, just like this, but I'm gonna have to center line this first. With I'm gonna center line it with the hero image. Select both center line, create a new box, drag this to the left like this. So this will be for me eight to five, and I'm going to copy and paste another box in here, and let's give him a background color of gray. So those two boxes will be like this then what i want to do is this will be shop for woman women whatever pronunciation is correct so let's copy the second heading and paste it in here so this will be our heading and remember i usually align my text just to the uh, point here and also i forgot to remove the border from those two boxes click on them both remove the border and we are done so heading one will say shop woman and then I'm going to use the body text that we created originally, copy paste and paste it around here. I think actually this spacing, I didn't measure it, but this looks kind of nice anyway. And what I want to do is add some space, um, add obviously some text in here and I'm going to be doing the same for male. But also I want to make those boxes slightly um, higher, slightly higher than they are. Maybe roughly around 450 pixels like this and 450 pixels like this. And obviously this will be now, actually depending, depending on how much text we have, this will be grouped together and center aligned on the box. So let's say shop woman and add some dummy text. So woman's new arrivals it's time to it's time to explore your options and we'll do the same for male probably and what we can do is we can either turn this we can scale this down turn it into a text area if you like by clicking this button here and uh, just scale it down if you like whatever style you want to go for and i think this is looking nice actually so i'm going to go with this uh, group those two together make sure that they are aligned in the middle of this box just like this and now i'm going to copy this paste it and move it to the right side right here and make sure that they're aligned like this and obviously we're gonna do one for shop uh, men and then just change this to men men's new arrivals la 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 and uh, this is looking good now what i want to do is add some images on those two sections and i'm actually going to copy one of the boxes and paste it for later i will show you why and i'm going to move this down so we can have it available so let's uh, find a suitable image for women and the one that i want to use is this one here 
And this actually doesn't, this actually has a white background. I haven't edited it yet. So let's drag this in here. And if we double click on it, you can actually move the image the way you like. You can scale it up and down, but I actually like the way this landed. I really like this. So I'm going to leave it just like this. And I think this is perfect. I'm going to do the same for the male. So let me drag one for male. I actually have only one for male. And let's drag this in. And the thing that I want to make sure now is that those two images, the aspect ratio of those two, uh, of their heads, uh, the same. As you can see right now, this is overpowering this. And this is because the aspect ratio in this one is slightly bigger. Uh, so what, what I would usually do is trying to align their eyes maybe just to like make it look similar. Uh, I don't know, like, let's say like this, the eyebrows and the eyes. And I think this might just work. So then let's place this to the right side and we'll have a look and adjust accordingly. So let's leave this. And as you can see, they're very similar now. Maybe, maybe this needs to be a little bit bigger. I don't know. But you see what I mean. Make sure that they're similar. And the next thing that I actually spotted is that this image, this image is a lot warmer than this image. And this is something that normally fixes I'm, if I'm working for a client. I'll make sure that all images have the same sort of feel. So this will definitely need to be changed, but I'm not gonna waste time doing this uh, and continue. And I talked about earlier how this is a one big button. Uh, those two are potentially gonna be two big buttons as well. So if you tap on this, the whole area, this will be a button, especially if you're on a tablet, you don't wanna mess around with small buttons like this. Um, so this will act as a big button, but of course we can also, if you wanted to, we can also use one of our buttons that we created earlier, copy and paste it. And this will make it look super pretty as well. So this is another option just like this. And of course I would align them nicely just like this. And obviously they need to go in the middle of this section. And of course this is looking cool, but maybe we can even, uh, center this text if we wish let's have a look like this so it's just like this so it's all about exploration trying different things what you like what you don't like I quite like this um, but one issue that i have currently with this is that there is a lot of space and you don't really know where the button ends so there, there are a few ways we can do there are a few ways we can do to do this obviously the first one i'm thinking is add a background color the second one maybe just like this that's why i use the box uh, obviously we have we have to crop the image but maybe we can add a background color just like this so they we can see where the outlines are or maybe another another option would be to to add like like this to make this white and to add like a shadow underneath it depending on your style obviously this text now will need to move inside and that looks super stylish as well real nice but if your website design does not have shadows obviously stick to it don't do that and the other way that we can do all this is to separate, to create a separator between them. Obviously we need to like this, maybe like a, even a smaller one to make it look cool, just like this. I don't know, I'm just showing you that there's so many ways of doing this. Um, I, would, I would now probably go ahead, spend some time cropping those images and put this background um, underneath them so they look the same and let me copy this button for now and continue because it's taking a lot of time so let's make sure that the text is aligned together just like this uh, this text needs to be aligned in the middle 
uh, let's text align, align boxes, and obviously probably want that to be aligned like this. I don't know. And the button needs to be middle aligned. Make sure you select those three, combine them, make sure that they're aligned horizontally there. So we're good to go. Okay. I would definitely go for the option with this background color uh, in here. These are looking nice now uh, you can desktop preview this super quickly just to see how your website will look like scroll up and down maybe uh, to see how it looks like um, I'm not a big fan of this button but those are the things that we can change whenever you like and so on and let's continue now with the next section and the next section is pretty much uh, displaying some products and to do this let's use exactly the same spacing from here which i already forgot how much it was um, that's roughly 90 so we can create another rectangle here drag another line if we wish just like this drag it even more right there and then and this then this will be our new section in here and what I want to achieve here is basically add like maybe woman's best sellers. So let's copy this second heading again, paste it and move down here in the middle like this. So and obviously make sure that this heading is aligned in the middle. You can also text align it. So when we type, it's always in the middle and I would just type um, Woman's best, woman's best sellers. Make sure you align it properly with your line, just like this. And and then let's add a little bit of text, just like here. And in fact, we could have copied this as a template and use exactly the same spacing. Let's do that. So I'm going to copy this text, delete it, and just replace this one here. Obviously, center align the text and drag this into here make sure that those two are aligned oh okay make sure that those two are aligned like this okay, maybe ungroup those two and align them like this make sure that the, this is obviously aligned in the middle and I can just use select both of them align with the hero section just like this and now we know that this is in the middle and the next bit that I want to do is with not so much space maybe half of this space so half of 90 is 45 so maybe we can just do 45 pixels like this at the bottom and this will be our new line so let's drag one down like this and this is where our boxes will start appearing from sorry all items so in this case i want to create five items and i'm not exactly sure how many we can fit and how much space i want between them but what i can do is i can create a little box uh, around here and I know for sure that the box I want it to be roughly 400 pixels Ooh, and maybe maybe that can be roughly 
300 and I don't know, 320? 326 maybe I think that looks like a good number uh, then what we can do is use the repeater grid to kind of figure out how many we can fit in here so what one two three four five is what I want and I would maybe like do it like this uh, sorry so I think we are now now we need more we need more, a little bit more spacing. So 28 pixels between them, that's not too bad. Um, I wonder whether this is with or without the borders. Maybe we can have, to, maybe we have to uh, make them a little bit smaller or calculate it properly. So like 22 border and and then change the padding. All right, this is a little bit, so make sure you calculate yours. Okay, so make sure you calculate yours instead of wasting so much time like me. And I think this is working quite well. The spacing between them is 45 and we have five columns, which is cool. And I can actually undo this and remove it and we'll probably uh, now create just one and duplicate that one instead. And um, just to remember the 45 pixels, now let's uh, let's add a box between them here, just like this. Okay, this will be our spacing guide for later. Okay, so obviously we need some nice photos for this as well. I'm gonna drag a few, and I won't be spending time editing them, just like this. I think this is working quite well, and then. I'm going to copy some of the body text from here and in fact I'm going to copy the button as well and the body text, paste them underneath here and I think this is looking nice, uh, obviously this box will need to go down to fit the size of the product that we are selling, remove the border and um, we can name, we will have to give this a name, obviously, like gold, I don't know, sparking mask. I'm not very good with giving them names. And another thing that I want to do is just below here, let's copy this text and paste it. And just below here, maybe around there, I will add the pricing as well. So we can have 10. $10, quite cheap for premium mask, I guess. And then we can have two spaces and can have, what's the dollar sign? We can have $8, just like this. And because this is, this is technically on sale, uh, what I can do is select the 10 and use this um, uh, strike through text effect in here and then I can actually do the opacity on the 10 to be around maybe 60 so oh, excuse me not on both just on this and uh, like this just on the 10 I want to make sure that the thing is 60 and it looks like it's selecting both so what I'm gonna have to do is actually se separate them, which is a little bit annoying, but let's separate them, make sure that this is set to uh, point text, copy this, paste it just around here, make sure that this is set to eight, and remove the striked through text, and I think this is looking good, but obviously I wanted to make sure that this is less, less prominent than 8. So I'm going to set the opacity to 60. Uh, so 8 pops out a little bit more. Then we obviously can do with a button. If we select this button and scale it down with holding shift, this should work for us. And what we have to do now is instead of browse collection, we'll just replace this with add add to, add to basket 
and of course we can make this button ever so slightly smaller like this make sure that the text is aligned and so on i think this looks okay uh looks presentable and the next thing that we can do on this is because this is on sale uh we can we can actually make a little badge that actually uh, on top of here so let's do that and uh, to do this i'm gonna make a little circle just like this circle can be around 51 51 make sure that the circle is black just so it suits our theme and it sticks out a little bit to create this cool effect uh, we can make it so it sticks out kind of like the same sort of okay and then inside here we can obviously put sale let's copy this text here paste it and go like this sale and obviously we have to create this as maybe white so we can see better like this and i think this is a little bit bigger so let's do this as i don't know 12 to okay this looks perfect actually i quite like this and we are pretty much done now let's use the repeater grid tool let's um, select all of this Control and g to group it and if we do repeat the grid then we can just drag make sure that the spacing between hits this mark here which was 45 if i remember correctly correctly and just let's add the rest of the items and that seems to work perfectly obviously we're gonna have to replace some of those items so what i will do now is let's ungroup that group in here um, we can change some of the pricing of course and so on so let's say this one is I don't know, 40 and remove this put the opacity up remove the strike free text obviously uh, we didn't select the sale which is good actually so we don't have to remove it but you get the idea i'll probably finish this later on um, just make sure that they are looking good and then let's just whack a few images on here just to make it look a little bit more presentable so i'm gonna go ahead and add a few more like uh, this one looks nice and the this this JPEG looks nice. This um, this one looks nice, and so on. Obviously, change the naming to make it a little bit more realistic, and so on. And the next section I'm going to do, which will be an exact copy of this. So let's copy the size of this, which was 90, uh, 90 like this. Let's drag another a grid rule this thing here, like this. So we got 90 spacing, remove it. Uh, we can now copy this full section, copy and paste, and just move it down so it aligns with our grid that we just made up, like this. Let's, I don't know, let's change this to something else, uh, new new arrivals and then we can change this to something else as well so new new arrivals updated every day it's time to it's time to explore i think this is sufficient this is good and i noticed that i actually copied this section in here so let's make sure that we cut we add some uh, nice text in here and i will say all a smooth and soft with and some marketing obviously you can make this a lot better add some marketing stuff uh, just like this make sure it's aligned with everything 
like this okay and this is looking perfect nice um, obviously we're gonna have to change uh, we don't want the same images to repeat in here so and the names and the pricing so I'm not gonna waste your time changing all this but I'm just gonna put some new images in here so let's start with this image because it's just super easy and we could have done this in an easier way with the grid but I kind of forgot so let's just do it super quickly anyway uh, this one we, we I think you can select multiple images and drop them on the grid and that will actually work but it's kind of too late now so leave it for now like this and one more this one looks cool save this and let's finish this off with subscribe um, button and foot on social media so uh, let's make this a lot bigger and for the sign up uh, section that I'm going to do I'm probably this was 90 so I'm probably gonna double double the uh, spacing so let's do something like 180 or whatever because it will be too too uh, close together I think if we did 90 again but this will be a new guide so let's add another guide like this just like this okay and we'll probably use this in a second as well so let's copy the second heading we use this quite a lot the second heading so let's copy this paste it around here and what I'm gonna do now is uh, let's add some text so first of all let's do something like sign up to God's newsletter and get updates about or latest arrivals and exclusive sales something like this I think this looks real nice and we can also make it italic if you wish uh, I think this would look cool um, I don't know why this broke but uh, around 62 will be nice I think this looks cool makes it look expensive I guess make sure this text is properly aligned and like this I think this will be fine and obviously we're gonna have to create some sort of uh, input box in here so I'm gonna use the line tool which is left on your keyboard I know I'm not going to measure it just gonna drag a line like here make sure that the line is set to black and I'm going to copy some of this body text here paste it and what I'm gonna do is at something like um, enter enter email address make sure that this is like this aligned with the box I think this looks cool uh, make sure we can put this to opacity down to 60 and we can copy and paste this at the end here and maybe do I don't know, sign up sign up and I'm gonna leave sign up as well to be uh, the same looking like this okay I think this looks nice let's uh, group all this together and what I want to do is I want to make sure that these are aligned in the middle like this and I'm pretty much done here so I'm gonna use the 180 pixels at the bottom now to start creating the last section of this website and I'm sure that you're glad to hear this the last section of this artboard which is the footer so we have 180 let's use one of them alignment lines like this remove and what I will do is for the actual links what I will do is I'm gonna use again the body uh, let's copy this 
paste it in here and let's add a few lists just like okay i'm gonna use this for the buttons for the list and i'm gonna use the same um, font for the headings but i'm just gonna bump this up to like i don't know something like uh, 25 would be fine i think so let's name this how can we uh, help with a question mark make sure okay um like this and as you can see i think that these are like really close together so maybe i would probably bump up the line spacing between them to be like 36 instead so they have a little bit more breathing space like this i would say uh, so they're easier to click i guess as well but on mobile we might have to space them more and so on and uh, let's create a little separator between the heading which will be nicely aligned here and let's make it like this i think this will be looking nice uh, what we can do for the separator let's, let's create a line uh, just like this and depending on how many sections we have we might have to calculate the spacing again which uh, is a little bit annoying uh, but let's do that and let's first of all before we do that let's make this line gray as well uh, just like something nice like this i'm sure it'll look nice and sharp when we zoom in okay uh, make sure that the spacing between those two elements those three elements is kind of equal like this by using the alignment tool in here distribute vertically yeah let's calculate how much uh, we can fit so let's create a box uh, replicate the grid c1234 and let's see how far we can push it maybe like this but that's a lot maybe maybe like i don't know I think 40 sounds pretty good. Um, let's make the boxes bigger. This was so lazy, but um, it is what it is so now that we have this sort of grid here what i can do is use this line to align it like this and i can copy this and multiply it around here just like this to save us a lot of time and effort and what i will do is now just swap some of the elements just like you can say useful info info in this one Let's create some other lists. Stability and so on. Then we can say maybe like uh, company. And for this, we can say about, I think I already had about, I don't know. We can say about and contact us. I think we already had the contact us, but it doesn't matter. Uh, it's just the me text anyway. And here we can maybe do download app just to fit the spacing. And I've already downloaded um, Apple App Store app icon that we can add just like this. Yeah, remove the text and of course we can add the uh, google one as well and so on and last but not least what i want to do is finish off this website with adding a footer at the bottom here so what i'm gonna do is make this for width and then say 2020 uh god and i need to copy and paste the copy uh, the copyright sign in here like this uh, and i can obviously center line this right that um, we can make it like this as well and last but not least we can use the plugin uh, the icon plugin icons for design and uh, just add some social media plugins like uh, let's say 
Facebook. Uh, I like this one. Let's add uh, Twitter. I like this one. Let's add Instagram. This one looks nice. Uh, I like, let's say, Snapchat, for example. And YouTube, of course. Okay, let's copy those icons. Let's cut those icons and paste them right in the bottom here. Like this. And what I will do, I'm not gonna spend too much time. I'm just gonna like figure out the spacing, I think, just like this. I think this will be okay. And what I will do is I'm gonna use the I'm gonna select all of them and then do the equally uh, distribute horizontally like this. Make sure that this is aligned with the um, copyright at the bottom. Have you move them like this? And we're done. Save as. And we are now done with the first page. Let's have a look at what we've created so far. Click. And as you can see, everything is looking nice. Maybe this could do a little bit more work. I would say the button I'm not a big fan of, but uh, everything else is looking pretty nice, I would say. Now that we're done with the desktop version, it should be actually super easy to convert this into mobile. And let's get going with this. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a new artboard by clicking on here on the left side, or just press A on your keyboard. And uh, this should give you all sorts of uh, different devices. And uh, the one that I'm thinking of using is the iPhone X XS 11 Pro. And the reason I always use this one is because there is a lot more mockups than the Max 11, I think. But you can use whatever you like. So I'm just gonna go for the Pro. And let's zoom in and get started. So the first thing that we are gonna have to do is we're gonna have to kind of, we won't be able to fit this anymore. Um, we can keep the search icon and the basket, but we can't fit this. Um, so we're gonna have to make the use of the burger menu. Let's get started with that. First of all, let's copy the logo, paste it. Ah, oh, where is it? Paste it somewhere. Drag it in here. Let's copy those two, the search and the basket. And we will create the burger menu ourselves. And uh, what we can do on here is let's do it like this. Just like that. Make you obviously want to do some usability tests, make sure that they're not too close together. Uh, when uh, it's used on mobile and so on. Uh, the logo will be in the middle uh, of the page and let's create the burger as well. We might have to actually go down with those two. I think I feel like I'm gonna have to do that. And the board of them looks quite big, so I'm gonna have to go to one, make them a lot thinner than they are. That looks a lot better already, so. Make sure that they align like this. And I don't know what space to use um, between them. Maybe like, let's have a look, maybe like one space. What is this? Um, I don't know. Maybe like 16 will be fine. Just like this. And I'm going to add 16 pixels uh, to the left side as well, where we're going to at the burger menu so let's do this like that um is this 16 i don't know okay this is 16 now it's looking good uh to to make the burger menu we're just gonna use the line tool basically i'm gonna make it roughly um 17 pixels in width so let's do that 70 pixels in width. Make sure that this is set to black and, and copy this, paste it, make sure that there is like a little bit of space, maybe five pixels will be fine and another five pixels and here is our burger menu. Select all this, group it, align it here on the left side 
then zoom out select your logo maybe i don't know i have the feeling that we might have to make the logo even uh, ever so slightly smaller as well just like this i think this will be nice and uh, to make sure that we have aligned everything nicely i'm going to use this box again to align everything but uh but yeah i think uh, i'm gonna line those Let, let's select everything first of all uh, make sure that they're aligned uh, Control and G to group them and I'm going to align uh, them like this with this at the top okay and this is looking nice and professional uh, the other thing we can do on mobile is maybe add like a background color background for the uh, navigation and to do this I'm just gonna select white go down make sure it's like equally spaced and um, we'll come back to this in a second actually let's remove it and the reason I was thinking of adding this is because when we copy this image and scale it down like here gonna scale it down like this actually let's create uh, let's create a square that is gonna mask the image like this so rectangle tool somewhere around there not too sure how much we want um, I'm not actually let's make it a lot smaller because we don't want to waste too much space um, like 400 420 should be okay uh, let's mask let's mask this image with this box so if I put the box on top right click um, ma uh, mask with shape and here is the image masked so I can align this now in here uh -um, I think I made the box slightly smaller let's do this and now that we have the image inside I can double click make sure I align the person the way I like it just like this I would say okay uh, make sure that this box has no border like this and uh, this is pretty nice actually um, maybe now obviously we're gonna have to send this to the back and we're gonna have to this is why I was thinking that we either have to move the model down or we're gonna have to do like a white background in here which is totally fine to do too let's align them in the middle in the middle okay perfect so this is totally fine and the next bit obviously we need to transfer is the title like this so I can copy and paste this put it around here and Adobe XD should allow us to literally scale this down holding shift and make it look like this and if you are worried and this is usually a whole button I'll probably remove this now but um, let's leave it but if you are worried that this is hard to see on some images of course we can add a white background maybe like this I know it's not the best but we can do this maybe like this put put the opacity down or maybe we can move this entirely outside here um, so and there's so many ways that you can explore so depending on your image uh, you can do all sorts of things I'm gonna leave mine like this to speed up the time I'm not happy with the extremely happy with the button it looks a little bit small maybe um, but let's uh, go with it or maybe the button can be like this in the middle here and maybe make it bigger like this Boom. let's see if I can shift uh, resize the button no okay that's fine I can align it maybe we can align the button here in the middle you know there's so many ways we can do this um, I think this is pretty cool as well so yeah um, I'm not too sure about this so I'm gonna move it up and leave it for now and the next bit that we need to do is obviously uh, replicate those two boxes and they're very easy to do copy 
paste move move it like um, the amount of spacing that you want let's say 30 pixels shift and scale down make sure that the fonts are still readable in here because Adobe could mess up with them so in here maybe this font can go down I don't know maybe that's too small it's up to you to decide um, like this and I think I don't know, something like this might work um, maybe we can left aligner now whatever you like and uh, to be completely honest I'm not I think this font looks very bold now compared to the uh, heading so I don't know whether we will need to overpower this with uh, with like a bolder font let's say bold roman and so on I don't know I'm not too sure about this so this is the way you'll do anyway um, I'll probably so I'll probably choose a font that um, fits better and because we made this as a component in here I can change it and this will change everywhere on the whole page which is good but anyways um, the only thing that I noticed is that we didn't do this and uh, I'm pretty happy with this now and maybe we can even make a cool effect and make the woman look like this I think this is pretty cool and we can allow for more text from here like this uh, what's happening with this text right like this you know uh, I think this looks pretty cool as well so many options in here uh, let's get this align it and so on so I would do exactly the same with the man section copy paste um, paste in there let's copy the image of the female of the pan uh, paste it in here so we don't have to like mess with it too much uh, obviously we need to scale it down like this I think this looks cool uh, and also we will have to we'll have to extend the artboard as well double click on the artboard extend down 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 and keep on working on this so let's change this to uh, men and let's change this to men and so on and uh, the next section will be the woman's bestseller i would literally copy this make sure paste it make sure it goes in here and i'll probably at this point make sure that this that this text here which is now uh, 19 is the same as this one so sorry 19 so this text needs to be the same as this one so they're equal and this text needs to be the same as the other one and so on so this will be I don't know, 14 maybe like this make sure that they're center aligned and so on and we're losing some text in here let's make it like this and I think the line spacing is quite too much in here so maybe put a 16 like this and put equal spacing between the element and so on um, I'm not putting much details in this as you can see but uh, I just wanted to speed up the process let's copy this element here paste it we're gonna have to resize this a little bit like this you know you want snap probably maybe because of the sale uh, but uh, that's fine we can literally just make the image slightly bigger and that will do but this is quite a big image so instead what I would do is actually um, I would move this here I would probably probably make the image slightly smaller and like this and then I'll move everything like this and then we'll continue with the rest of the um, stuff 
with the rest of the website exactly the same way. Obviously, this is a very quick demonstration how I'll do it. Uh, I'll probably spend a little bit more time to align everything and so on. But you get the idea now. I think the desktop version is looking pretty cool. And that's everything from this tutorial. I hope you liked it. In the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how we can develop this. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel, comment below, smash the like on this video. And if you have any questions, if you have any questions, um, yeah, please comment below. So I'll see you in the next one. Thank you very much for watching.